Bonjour, hello, welcome to Max Mountain World. Bonjour, hello. Today I'm just outside a little village in the Southern Alps, just along from where I live, about an hour away from where I live. A little village called Argentière La Besse. Now, I'm on my way back from a long trip. This is why I'm kind of uh, looking a bit bleh. Um, tell you what I'll do. Uh, we'll just... We'll hide them. That brings me on to something here. I'm just at the tail end of a very long journey. I've just driven the best part of 2,500 kilometres, kilometres, in 50 hours. A long trip. And I'm absolutely knackered. That's why the eyes are kind of gone. But anyway, I'm not far from home now. But even so, driving through the Alps, I kind of notice things. At this point of time in the autumn, it's a magical time. I'll explain why, and I'll explain how I notice it and here goes for a little video on this fantastic period of time in the Alps. Now I've mentioned before in videos that I just often wonder how many people go about their business around here and just don't take in the 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 full splendor of the surroundings here. I think I I've kind of found just by accident today just now one reason perhaps why this happens. Now, most cars have tinted windows. Very few have tinted front windows. You're looking back at me, so I'm pointing that way. Um, and most of the windows tinted at the side. Now, I've just noticed a little effect. And I'll just demonstrate this. So having swiveled the camera around 180 degrees and pointing it out the front, Unfortunately, it's just started raining, uh, almost snowing. It's very, very cold. Uh, at the moment, I'm at an altitude of about a 1,000 metres above sea level. One thing I do like about this period in time, it's the end of October, to be precise, the 24th October, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, it's the arrival of the first snows. Now, the first snows, we get little storms coming through, and uh, you get this effect happening with all sorts of things with clouds and whatnot. Let me just uh, clear the screen a bit. And uh, you can just see up the top of this mountain here that, you know, the, the tops of the high mountains this time round, they're all white, they're all turning white. That's not a particularly high one, but uh, the snow line uh, north facing is about 2,000... 300 meters quite low south facing about 2006 2007 but uh, just the cloud formations that happen while all this is going on as well but one thing I have noticed is that's looking through the front screen and just looking uh, through an untinted window now I can look ahead and you can see some of the colors here they're, they're pretty good I'll just zoom in a little bit I'll keep the zoom like that and what I'll do is I'll uh, the rain's not really going to detract from the effect of what I'm about to show you. And if I look round here, at, out the, the side window here, so if I was driving along looking at the side window, yeah, yeah, that looks quite nice. It's, <laughs> it's quite colourful. Now, if I just drop the window down, and you'll see the difference through the tinted window, or basically a, with the naked eye. Check it out. Window color window color right I've got to stop doing that and besides I might get some rain on the on the lens but anyway what I'm going to show you is a, is another effect um, as I say I've just put the sunglasses on basically because I'm not happy with the way my my drowsy little eyes look but I get the opposite effect with my sunglasses and I'll demonstrate that now as well so I'm still zoomed in quite a bit, uh, I'll keep it like that just uh, for the effect of the next part of the video to compare it to the last part, but um, these sunglasses of mine, they're, they're a gradual tint, they're a, a varied tint, so at the top they're dark, at the bottom they're light, you can see that effect there, and they've got this sort of like this purpley red type of tint. Now, when if I go back to what I was doing previously there, and you look at the side here, 
and yeah it's nice it's colorful there's various shades of green and some yellows and sort of oranges and stuff like that and drop the window and it, it becomes sort of much more colorful and much more uh, sort of rougey you could call it red sort of colored but with the sunglasses I'm just going to drop the sunglasses in front and you'll see this this is a, this is what I see when I'm driving out the front window and I've got the glasses now coming in front of here but have a look at the effect you can see that that everything turns magical colors of just as beautiful and I, this is me well, apart from the fact that I'm observant and that I'm YouTubing stuff everywhere and whatnot uh, th this is probably why I do notice more than most people, I don't know. Maybe people do notice, maybe I've got that wrong. But it's it's just quite astonishing, just uh, the the difference. So, you know, you, you're, you're going through what people see out the side window. Um, I can't be arse hitting the button again. Difference to there. And then a further transition um, where you're... You've got all these colours happening. Now just zoom back out a wee bit to get the full effect. And you can see that... You know, it's probably not the brightest of surroundings with it being a cloudy day. But you can see the effect of that. Right, I'm in a bit of luck here. The rain's just stopped or it's almost ground to halt. So I'll go outside and show what's what. You can see the difference there just opening the door. But just look at some of these colours around here. There's things like, you know, this, this tree here, look at it. Like, there's no lenses or tints or anything. This is as, as the bare eye sees it. All the scorch in different colours of greens, dark greens, light greens, yellows, reds. And this is no tint, no nothing. And the actual colours of this place, just, and it's everywhere. So I'll do a, a 360. And you'll see what the camera's going to try and adjust this, I know. But, hello, Eck. <laughs> this Axel. And just behind me here, like, this little red bush, look at that. Just, just how many colours are in that one frame? And it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Up behind here, I've got a huge mountain up the back of me here. And... Again, just up there, there's a lot of bareness up there. That's up at the tree line, uh, the highest point where the trees grow. But you can see what there is up there is turning perfect, fantastic colours. And just incredible. So I thought I'd that, do a little video just to show all this stuff. I'm right next to the road here. I'm just in a little parking spot. But again, how many colours are in that one frame? Just awesome. And that's a little 360 right the way around. And back to where I started here, and that mountain facing us, the colours, the camera seems to pick it up better when I zoom in. How many colours are in that one frame? And you're just looking around, and just above that, it's all different colours of greens and things. Just incredible. Yeah, so the sunglasses are off again. Uh, can't be arsed putting them back on, and you'll just have to stick with these. I've got to. But anyway, yeah, those glass, the sunglasses, they're, they're handy. They're, 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 I didn't buy them, I found them. Clients left them behind or something like that. But they're particularly good for driving with because myself, I'm very long sighted. I, my long, sight, long vision is fantastic. My short sight, 50 centimeters down, not so great. So they work well for actually the sight sunlight and bright light that's, uh, that I'm driving with through an untinted screen in the front but they're also not tinted at the bottom so they don't really impair my closer vision which isn't my good vision of the instruments or sat nav or whatever I'm watching uh, whatever I'm looking at inside the car so yeah that's it it's a, a particularly magical thing a particularly magical time uh, to be around here in, in the Alps in the southern Alps Especially at the end of this trip, I've just noticed it coming in here. I did most of the trip, I did 2,000 kilometres of the trip in this huge van. 
and uh, jumping back into my car when I collected it to bring come back home again, the car just felt like a sports car sitting away down low and stuff, you know. But what 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 also the effect I had was I've just spent a little bit, a very short amount of time in that trip in London, where almost everything is a combination of grey and black. Uh, referring to you know all the cars and the, it's just it's a horrible place not my favorite place as you'll see in another video that I'm putting uh, uh, with this one not in it but with it but just having come away from a horrible city that's all gray and dark and gloomy and whatnot and then coming back down here and just doing the final part of this drive whew, yeah I love this place. This 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 sort of situation, what I call a happy moment, where I notice these things, stop, take it in and appreciate it and enjoy it. This is one of the reasons why I started this channel, the Max Mountain World, because there's just so much of it and there's so much beauty of it and it's just fantastic to be able to share it. So that's today's video. That's one of today's videos, just to show uh, just one of my happy moments. Some of my videos have a postscript, a little add-on at the end, due to the fact that I've either forgotten something, noticed something else, whatever. So referring back to the beginning of this video, um, I'm not sure I noticed something at the end, so I'm sorry, I'll just run the camera at it and, and show you what I'm talking about. So we're looking down at these colours, or not down, but along at these colours on the mountain facing, and I've just noticed this cloud that started forming. It's, I don't know if it was in that previous bit or not, but well worthy of a mention. Look at just a little cloud at that altitude. Wicked, eh? That's incredible. We get that all over the place, but as I said at the beginning, uh, the cloud formations that happen, the little tiny little cloud formations that happen, let's zoom out a wee bit and show you what I'm talking about. That's pretty awesome, that is. So anyway, right, that's the video's end now.